In my firm, uh, we actually see a fair number of incidents involving bicyclists. Uh, they're not that uncommon in Mississippi. Uh, this is a place where uh, it's warm and comfortable outside a, a large part of the year, so people tend to be more active. Uh, one of the things uh, that we always uh, discuss with clients who have been involved in a situation where a bicyclist has, hit, has been hit by a car or some other type of motor vehicle is that there's some common mistakes uh, that apply to bicycle accident cases uh, that really are common across any number of personal injury cases. But with regard to a bicycle case, uh, one of the common mistakes that people make is not getting the medical treatment that they need right away. Now with these types of cases, uh, usually just because of the disparity between uh, the weight of a motor vehicle and a car, we're typically dealing with more serious injuries. That isn't always the situation, but usually just statistically a collision between a, a bicycle and a motor vehicle, there's a higher risk of serious injury uh, to the bicyclist. So sometimes that is taken care of just because the person needs immediate medical help and so they get it. Uh, but I'm talking in a broader sense of getting the medical treatment that you need. Uh, you know, the, the victim of a bicycle accident needs uh, to not only get the immediate medical treatment right after the collision happened, uh, which is usually in the form of emergency treatment, but also any ongoing treatment. Just do not overlook uh, the, the physical therapy, the follow-up appointments, uh, whatever the medical staff and doctors are recommending that you do in order to fully recover. And we want that first and foremost because that's what it takes to get better and we want your health to recover and be healthy. But also just from a legal standpoint, which is what we're here to talk about, uh, it helps us make sure that we're creating that record of what happened and that record of medical treatment that's going to help prove the case. Uh, another thing that is a common mistake that people do is and it can be very devastating to a legal claim, is waiting to get legal help, waiting too long to bring a claim. Uh, in Mississippi, the general statute of limitations is three years from when the injury occurs. So there's a fixed amount of time that uh, a person has to bring a claim uh, in order to satisfy that statute of limitations. If you bring a claim later, than the statute of limitations in this state or any other state, then your claim is barred, period. And there's no bringing it. Uh, you will not get compensated. You cannot pursue the claim. So that is extremely important. Uh, most people are hesitant and their first reaction is not to go sue someone. But it really is a matter of protecting your rights. If you have a claim and have been injured, as a result of someone else's negligence, you have only a limited amount of time to bring that claim. So it's very important that it be done within the time limits of the law. Those time limits vary state by state, and sometimes within a state, they vary by different circumstances. So that brings in the third point that the, the mistakes that people often make uh, is not having legal representation and an attorney on your side helping guide you through that process. Because the statute of limitations is just a perfect example of someone who is not familiar uh, with injury law and who does not regularly do litigation and injury claims may not be aware of the nuances of, for instance, the statute of limitations uh, and the particular uh, location and venue uh, where your claim would be filed. They may not be aware of different options for venues. They may not be aware of the nuances of, of, of uh, the statute 
and other legal aspects. So it's really important that you bring in legal representation because uh, if you're not a lawyer, you're definitely not gonna know any of that. And sometimes the biggest danger is not knowing what you don't know. So having uh, experienced, competent legal help uh, in pursuing your claim is important. Don't make the mistake of not getting legal counsel uh, for your uh, bicycle injury case or really any type of personal injury case. And that leads to another mistake uh, of, that people commonly make, which is not getting an attorney who is experienced, has training, who kind of specializes in the type of case that you have. If you have a personal injury case, and particularly with bicycle injury cases, as we discussed earlier, a lot of times those injuries are more severe than a typical, say, car wreck case or a slip and fall case, uh, just because of the disparity in weight and size between the motor vehicle and the bicycle. Usually the injuries are more severe. Uh, typically there is uh, strong negligence on the part of the motor vehicle. And so the value of the case at stake and the complexities unique to these type cases of showing the liability, showing the damages, are something that you want an attorney who has experience, first of all, in litigating uh, injury claims, second of all, litigating uh, these particular types of claims involving motor vehicles, involving bicycles, and comparable claims, uh, because uh, an attorney with experience, specialized uh, training and study and expertise in that particular type of case and a proven track record uh, of pursuing personal injury cases is going to understand the ins and outs of how to uh, proceed with and get the best result for you in that particular kind of case. And that's just something, you know, you, you don't go to a dentist to get heart surgery. You don't go to a heart surgeon to have brain surgery. Uh, you don't go to a brain surgeon if you have a problem with your feet. And the same thing applies to law. You know, you, you just don't go to real estate attorneys or your general practice or your divorce attorney uh, when you have a personal injury claim. You want someone who deals with those types of claims day in and day out. And that's especially true with something as specialized as a bicycle injury case. So those are some of the common mistakes that we see uh, with these types of cases and, and frankly with other uh, types of personal injury cases, something you want to keep in mind. But uh, my name is Brad Morris. I'm with Brad Morris Law Firm, PLLC. And uh, we're here to answer your questions. I hope this video has helped answer some of them. But uh, you can reach us through our website or our phone number. Uh, if you have other questions, uh, bottom line is we're here to help. So thank you for watching.